Hello YouTube, how's it going? It's The Professional here. So I promised you guys that I would do an unboxing of the collector's box for Red Dead Redemption 2. I know this is kind of late, I apologize for that, but you know, I had a problem on eBay. I originally purchased this from eBay a few weeks ago and I had a problem with the guy I purchased it from. I paid like 20 bucks more for it because I was kind of late on the pre-order, but took so long to ship it, I got a refund because he wouldn't ship it, and then I ended up purchasing it from Rockstar when they were back in stock, so, and they, they kind of delayed it, it was supposed to be two-day shipping, but it took a week, but now it's finally here, I promised you guys I would do an unboxing on this, and I'm just going to get straight to the point, and thank you to my dad for also filming this, special shout out to him, but I'm going to get straight to the point for people that don't have time to watch the whole video, this is not worth buying, I didn't even open this, but I already know everything inside, this is not worth buying unless you are a really big fan. It's just not worth buying. It's a hundred dollars. This does not include the game. It includes some cool things in here, but it's not worth the hundred dollars. You know, they could have charged a hundred twenty dollars for this and maybe included the game. Maybe add twenty dollars more and include the game. But this sets a dangerous future for games. That in the future, it's like they're gonna and Rockstar is such a big title and I, company, and I love them. And they're such, they're one of my favorite developers. Red Dead Redemption Two is an amazing game. It's, I think it's gonna be game of the year. But this is a dangerous future that they're setting for games where companies can just start selling collector's editions and they don't even feel like including the game. I don't think it doesn't make much sense to me. But anyways, let me explain to you guys why I don't think it's worth it. Let's go through everything. Let's take a look at the cool things and see what's in here. So let's see right here on the front. We got Arthur Morgan right here. Um, here we got, we got Sadie Adler. Right here, Micah. Dutch Vanderlyn and Charles on this side. Okay, let's open this up. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so here is that safe that they talked about right here. Okay, let's see right here. This safe looks interesting. It takes up the whole box. This safe, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to utilize this safe in the future. But, um, I mean, you could probably store some things in here, but it's, it's, if somebody was going to take your stuff, they could just take the safe. I mean, unless you mount this somewhere, but that's probably unlikely too. Let's open this up. Let's get this out of here. Let's see what we've got in here. Got it. Okay. So this is what it looks like inside the safe. It's just room to put it in here. I think the lock's in here somewhere too, but Red Dead Redemption 2, nice collector's Cornwall. You guys don't uh, don't want to spoil anything in the game, but you guys play through the game, you know who Cornwall is. Cornwall, freight, and commodities. Okay. Here. Okay, so here, let's take a look at the first thing here. We have a catalog. You guys remember this? This is in the game when you go to the stores and you go through the catalog. And you try to purchase all the different things in here. Um, what is this one for? This is Wheeler, Ross, and the original catalog and co. Edition number 153. The cheapest supply house on earth. Our trade reaches around the world. 1899. Please show this catalog to your friends and neighbors. And it has that old style. You know how they used to. Um, they had it like so a century ago. This is how catalogs used to look. Wheeler, Ross, and Company. Okay, so it's a general store one. It's St. Denis on here. Okay. Okay, let's see. What do we got in here? Okay, so it's it's pretty much it's pretty much the is exact same catalog that we encountered in the game when you go to the store. You got you know you go in the game here, you choose the different options here. Yeah, so okay, there's also the guns in here, the revolvers, the repeaters. It'll tell you about all the guns here, so you can just I mean this is this is definitely a nice read. I'll definitely read through this when I get the chance. It describes all the guns in here. Yeah, so pretty much all the guns, it's the it's the it's the same thing that we have in the in the game. This this is the physical copy. Talks about all the different rifle cartridges, pistol cartridges, the bandolier. Um here we have some hunting bait. Okay, yeah, yeah, so different things here. Um pocket watch, coffee per percolator. Let's scroll through it. Food. This is where all the food here is. This is nice. Outfits. Okay, this is the tailor. So it has so basically this catalog is just a combination of all the stores, all the stores in here, the gun store, the general store, the tailor, everything else in here. Um and uh what do we got here? Your offering notes. So there's n notes here, but I wouldn't write on it because I wouldn't want to ruin it, but I mean this catalog, I'll definitely go through it, but it's the exact it's pretty much the exact same thing that you have in the game. It's just a physical copy. Okay, so we got that the catalogs there. Let's continue through this thing. Let's see what else we got in here in this box. What is this here? Oh, this paper is very fragile. 
this looks like a this looks like a treasure map. Yep, this is a treasure map right here. Uh, this is probably an actual. I'm not familiar with the location in game on this, but this is probably yeah. This will probably lead you to a spot in the game here. It's probably a unique treasure map, but it's just a, it's a piece of paper right here, just like drawings here. This paper is very very fragile though. Like I'm feeling it. Like this could rip very easily, so you might want to be careful with this. Okay, let's go right through here. What do we got here? This. Let's open this. Be a little careful with this. This is bandana. Yeah, I wish I wish this would have come before Halloween though. That would have been nice. You could dress up as an outlaw. Look at that. Bandana. This is nice. Yeah, this is a nice man elite uh bandana here. See the Rockstar logo on here. Okay, so I mean this bandana it's nice it's nice if you wanna like dress up like an outlaw. It would definitely be fun for that, but I mean, this bandana, I don't know what I'm going to use it for. Maybe, you know, you know what I think I'll do is I think I'll just put this on my table. It'll probably be nice in the middle of the table, just setting it down like this. Yeah, I think that'll be nice. That's what I'll probably use it for. Wish it would have come before Halloween, though. That would have been awesome. Would have been able to dress up as an outlaw. Okay, let's take a look at what else we got in here. Let's see, what is this? What is this right here? The ch challenge coin. This thing is really packaged tight. moment here everyone okay got it let's see right here rockstar logo right here red dead redemption 2 red dead redemption 2 challenge coin let's see what we got in here This has a really nice cover in here. This... Okay. Red Dead Redemption 2, a powerful symbol of the American frontier, the American bison. Bison were hunted in near extinction, ancient in the late 1800s. Okay. And look at this, we got a, we got the bison right here, and then we turn this around, and we can see the, okay, this coin's nice, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably, I'll probably have, put this up on my desk, it'll probably just be standing on my desk, that's probably what a lot of people are gonna do with that, okay, the packaging is also nice on this one, okay, I'm just gonna put that right back in here, okay, what else do we have in here? Let's see, what is this? Uh, this is a strange packaging. Okay. Some kind of bag sack. Red Dead Redemption 2. What is in here? Is there something in here? Here we have... Here we have pins. Um, okay. See if I can get this open. There's just a lot in here, so you want to be careful not to spill these. You don't want to get these lost. But there's a lot of different kinds of pins, like there's here. This is the carbine repeater. Carbine repeater. You can just, you know, you can just pin this on your shirt like that. Um, okay, what do we got in here? We got a few different other guns in here. This looks like the, yeah, we got the double barrel, the double barrel shotgun. Double barrel shotgun in here. We got a tomahawk, a knife. And a revolver. Not really too much special from this one. Just careful not to lose these because these pieces are really small. Okay, let's put that back in. Okay, let's see. What else? We got something else in here too. What is this here? Cigarette cards. Okay. Be a little hard to open up here. Any good plastic they got on these things. Got it. Okay, cigarette cards. Look at that here. Twelve pictures packed inside each box. Cigarette cards. Um, 
Collector's Card Series number one. Uh, American Paint Horse, Jim Boy Calloway, Leviticus Cornwall. Okay, a bunch of the characters. Let's see what these look like. These are, you know, you know, these cigarette cards. You go through the game, you can find them in random buildings a lot of times. Um, let's see here. What do we got here? Let's see, get this out of the box completely. Take a look right here. Okay, yeah, and they're, they definitely have the style of like a century ago. Let's get this one. Leviticus Cornwall Oil Tycoon. Jolly Jack cigarettes. Um, does it say anything on here? This does it say any kind of description? Prominent Americans of our time. Okay. Jolly Jacks is manufactured under an exclusive process for smoking or or chewing purposes. Okay, who is this here? Jim Boy Calloway. Right here. Dr. How ha, ha Hey Hayforns. Hey Forns, if I'm reading that name correctly. Mod Angle. A few different ones here. These are nice collector's pieces, but I mean they just doesn't really have much it just doesn't really have much to offer. I mean they're they're nice they're nice to collect, but I mean you're not really going to do much with these. I mean, you might just frame these somewhere, put these up somewhere, but just to look at it, pretty much. Um, okay, put that back in there. Put this in the box here. Let's see, got something else still in here. Okay, here we got a key. Um, this is the key to the, to the safe. Okay, there's only one key that comes with this, so you guys got to be very careful not to lose this. Um, let's see. Where's this open? Oh, okay, you got to turn it all the way. Okay, I was wondering how that would work. Okay, let's see here. We'll put that in here now. Okay. Now it's locked. Very small lock, though. I mean, if somebody was to take, if somebody was to take this box from you, I mean, this is this is not actually protect your goods. I mean, you could you could put some money in here if you want or something else, but it. I mean, if somebody was to take this box, they could probably just smash this lock. And there we go. This opens up like that. Okay, leave that in there. Okay. Let's see what do we got in here. This looks like playing cards. Almost got it. It's the pack. I apologize, guys. It's the packaging can be a little rough on these. Okay, let's see what we got in here now. Red Dead Redemption Two. Yep. Uh, cards. Rockstar logo here. Let's see what do we got in here? Okay. I'm curious who's on these cards. Red Dead Redemption Two. This card just. And they all have Red Dead Redemption 2 in the back. What do we got here? Reverend. Uncle. Un Uncle's a Joker. Reverend's a Joker. Ace. Nice. Twos. Fours. Javier's a Joker as well. I think all the characters. Okay. Karen's a Queen. Micah's a King. Got another Ace. Yeah, just deck of cards these are the these are more fun because these you could actually use to play um john marston's a joker abigail abigail's a queen charles is a king ace is more again Let's see here lenny's a joker sadie's a queen arthur's a king bill williamson's a joker tilly's a queen and dutch vanderlyn is a king right there Okay, I'm starting to like the cards a lot. The cards I like, these are nice. You can play with these, play with your friends, you know, have some fun with these. Just be careful with these cards because there's only there's only one deck that you get at these. So I mean, you, if, you, if you ruin one card, it wouldn't be good as a full deck. Okay, let's just put this back in here. Okay, nothing in there left. Last box, let's see, what do we have here? we have here we have the map puzzle 
City of St. Denis, Lemoyne County. Okay. Puzzles. Okay. Puzzle and Rockstar Games. Uh, and it says 1998 on here. New York City. Okay. Published in 1899 at NJ Worthingham. Okay, let's fast forward to completing this puzzle in full because I don't want to uh, I don't want to waste your guys' time on completing the puzzle. So I'll just fast forward right now on the end of the puzzle. Okay, guys, so this is what the puzzle looks like when it's fully completed. I um this took me about 30 minutes to to do my dad, but this puzzle, it's the city of Saint Denis. And when you're when you're looking at the when you're doing the puzzle, make sure you take a look at this right here because this will help you out at the bottom of the box. It'll show you um it'll be a good layout and I always recommend starting, you know, on the edges. Start on the edges and then work your way in. That's how I always do puzzles. But here and also this puzzle, it has a kind of a little little bit of a secret on the back of it. So let me show you guys here. Look at that. On the back right there, Rockstar Games, New York City, 1998. Well, you know, this this got me a little confused because when I was doing the puzzle the first time, I didn't realize that there was a back part to it because most puzzles on the back are just white. And I, I looked at that and I was like, wait, wait a second. But then I eventually, if I looked at all the pieces and I saw, wait, there's a back part to it. But do the city. Don't don't try to do it from this side because this side is going to get really confusing because all the white pieces, it's better just to do it straight from the city. And that is pretty much the collector's box. I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I Sorry this took so long, but it, just, it took so long for them to deliver it. And, you know, I ordered this over a week ago from Rockstar. It shows two-day shipping, but they ended, up, they ended up taking a week. But whatever. I wanted to show you guys this. I don't think that this is worth it. My opinion, I don't think this box is worth it. Only if you're, like, a major fan. If you, like, a really, really big fan, you know, you like Red Dead Redemption. It's, like, like your favorite game series of all time. Then I guess get it. But other than that, if you're just a casual gamer, you like Red Dead, but you're not like insane about it, then don't get this. It's not going to be, it's not going to be worth it. I mean, $100 for this, the puzzle and like the safe and the cards, not really worth it. It's nice, but you know, if they would have included the game with this, this would have been a perfect addition. They could have raised the price a little bit, maybe make it $120, maybe $20 more, you know, and then they could have thrown the game in. That would have been a great addition, but you know, it's just the fact that they're giving you an addition without the game that is a very dangerous very very dangerous future for gaming because then other game companies are going to start doing the same thing you know we don't have to give, give the game in our in our collector's edition we can sell a collector's edition without the game and they, they know people will buy it they know people are going to buy it so i mean hope you guys enjoyed this let me know what you think of this uh collector's box let me know down below in the comments if you enjoyed the video drop a like if you're new to my channel enjoy my content and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one take care everyone